According to a royal expert, the firm has enjoyed some fantastic moments this summer, including the king's bromance with the U.S. president and the Princess of Wales stealing Wimbledon. According to a royal specialist, the royal family has enjoyed a number of stellar wins this summer. According to royal author and historian Dr. Tessa Dunlop, the firm has benefited from events like King Charles' meeting with President Joe Biden and the Princess of Wales' performances at Wimbledon. The royal family has had a difficult year, starting with the institution and the nation being rocked by Queen Elizabeth's passing. The Sussexes then released their Netflix docuseries, Harry and Meghan, and Prince Harry published his shocking memoir, Spare, in January. A busy few months have also passed. The monarch and numerous royals experienced a number of firsts during the Trooping the Color and Coronation, which were held shortly after one another. However, the author of the 2022 piece, Elizabeth and Philip, thinks that a few particular occurrences this year have contributed to the institution's magic shining through. On May 6, 2023, King Charles Ayoye and Camilla, Queen Consort, will be crowned in Westminster Abbey. We've gathered information about the king that may surprise you, from his time at Cambridge University to his preferred variety of tea. On the Today for Daily podcast, Dr. Dunlop stated, I thought it was really clear this summer where there were a couple of stellar wins for the royal family. She was speaking to American royal analyst Kinsey Schofield. And one was King Charles, who hosted President Biden in Windsor Castle, albeit for a very little period of time. The bromance moment, the arm around the president's shoulder, the Welsh first guards, the military music, and the sunny weather were all displays of statecraft. It was this was the magic, the tinsel of monarchy that America buys into, that Britain does well, and that Harry left. When the president paid a visit to the king last month, Mr. Biden was observed clapping Charles on the back as they walked around Windsor's quadrangle and chatted before talking about climate change. The U.S. president met with the prime minister before traveling to Berkshire to visit the Welsh guards. The two last had a formal conversation at the COP26 climate summit in Glasgow two years prior. Dr. Dunlop added in an interview in early August that Kate outperformed all of the famous people who attended Wimbledon this year, including Daniel Craig and Brad Pitt. Whatever Meghan's story may have been, she remarked, Kate Middleton or Princess of Wales, outbox officing every Hollywood star at Wimbledon is the takeaway from this summer. Can you even recall the Wimbledon champions' names? Because Kate was genuinely such an overwhelming success. And I believe that it is important to acknowledge that being a member of the royal family means that you are more than the sum of your parts. The princess, an avid tennis player and supporter of the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club, was spotted three times this summer at SW19's renowned court. Even while the royal family may have had some wins earlier this summer, Prince William has come under fire recently for skipping the Women's World Cup final and missing the Lionesses' match against Spain in Australia, which ended in a loss. Sportscaster Gabby Logan expressed her disappointment that the future king, who is the president of the Football Association, did not travel to Australia for the major game along with many others.